Hello and welcome back to the online medium. Today, let's go to walk you through the adding wholesale functionality to Shopify store. There's a two methods of how we can get started, but the first one actually is not affordable for everybody. So the first and the most common method is the actual Shopify Plus. Shopify Plus comes with the actual wholesale of the e-commerce. It's gonna be really easy and they can be helping you with enterprises teams and how to bring Shopify into tech stack. If you don't have the afford of how you can add the wholesale of uh, paying for the actual Shopify pricing of the plus, uh, I believe that we needed to focus into the solution at number two. So let's move that into step number two. It's don't start with the plus because we don't have $2,300. So it's not affordable for all of us. All right, so step number two is to do it and add this automatically by yourself with a standard plus into Shopify. Well, there's two things you need to do in order to activate a wholesale into your store. First of all, what you want to do is to add a contact form inside your actual header section. So you can get started by customizing your customers and of course adding them and adding huge sales deals. And step number two, of course, is to just enable those by focusing into adding collections and to lock those collections. So let's get started with the very first thing, which is checking out if there's an application that can help you with the wholesale sale application so let's go back here into our main section let's focus into the application to the left hot and here i'm going to just type the word wholesale so i'm going to hit into shopify app store and this one should be taking us into there's a lot of actual sections where you can just get started for example there's the wholesale gorilla there's the wholesale pricing now there's the b2b wholesale firms and pricing and so much more so usually what we do is to choose an application that is totally for free and then later on hit now into install so this is like the very basic and easy uh, way of how we can get started so the application should be helping us to get started with discount groups checking out your orders the out of tax settings order forms to installing and unstalling and so much more elements so in order to create an actual great order from we actually use chat dpt so chat dpt is going to be helping us to create a contact form with the most important things to ask for a wholesale area into your shopify page so as you can see this one generates a co uh, company information contact person information the business details the product interest and additional information they even gave us an html form that we can integrate into my shopify page so what i can do is just to copy this code and add an actual new uh, website a new page inside my store so i can add this directly inside my new section which is the menu bar so let's focus here into pages i'm gonna add a new page and let's say that i go for contact form or let's go for wholesale form and now here into content instead of just pasting the content i just go for show html i paste my html and I hit now into save. So what I can do now is to go back into the editor of my Shopify and focus into my home page. And here, what I wanted to do is to locate my page. If you don't see this, then what we need to do is to add the wholesale form directly into the navigation bar. So instead of going into page, let's go now into navigation. Here into navigation, I'm gonna go into the main menu that I'm currently using, and I add a new item, which is wholesale. And here I'm going to be using the page that I currently created. So I go for save and I saved it. Now I can go back into the editor and reload the page so I can see this new section directly into my menu sidebar. So once you see it, I'm going to click on it and I can start customizing it. So for example, you can see that I have the company information, the company name, the website URL, the address, the country, uh, the full name, the position title, and actually it doesn't look that bad. And I hit submit and I have now the information about it. Now the second thing to do now, uh, in order to focus on now, is to make sure that you have just configured all your actual customers. So for that, I'm going to go back, of course, into the dashboard. Now let's focus inside here where it says customers. Inside customers, what you can do is to add your new customer, adding your first, last name, all the languages, the email, the phone number, the default address, and the tax exemption just in case this one is available and applicable for you. Now lastly here and to note what you can do is to add, let's say for example, wholesale customer. And I hit into save, even I can add tax for this guy. So let's go for wholesale only. 
And lastly, what I can do is to just create my collections and lock those collections. So whether you want to do this manually or do this into an application. To do it, so first of all, let's focus into products. Here into products, you can go into collections. Let's say that I go for create collections and I'm going to go for, let's say, wholesale bundle number one. And the description, I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to hit now into save. And here I can add the products uh, of all that are applicable for this new section. Let's say, for example, only the first seven of them. Here we go. And there we go. Now, in order to lock this collection, what I need to do is to add an actual application. There is an actual application called Locksmith that can help us to lock uh, this collection that can only be available for our customers that are for the wholesale. My locked here is now enabled and I can add a key for our customers to open the locked content. Now that I have enabled this and I created my first discount coupon, if you wanted to check out how to calculate your wholesale pricing, there's an actual section of Shopify that can be helping you with this blog that can help you to calculate the wholesale prices and profit margins. So you have the link down below in the description so you can check that out and how you can check out the wholesale pricing and add those directly into your products. And that, guys, is how you can do the wholesale directly inside Shopify. You have successfully added wholesale functionality to your Shopify store, opening up new opportunities for growth and sales. Thank you for watching, guys. If you find this story helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for the online media for more valuable tips and tutorials. Until next time.